Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not been posting a lot of videos lately. The month of February was crazy. As you all know, I turned 25. If you haven't checked out that vlog, go check that out. If it's your first time, you're probably like, what's going on? Hi, my name is Gabrielle. I also go by Gaby, and welcome to Life Journal with Miss GCH. And to all my oldies and my returners, thank you so much for your love for my birthday and for returning for today's video. Today we're trying something new and I figured, why don't I just do it on camera and show all of you at the same time let's just all see how it turns out so my hair as many of you know if you watch the vlog has been uh, I got it pressed like three weeks ago it's almost three weeks I can't believe that this is the longest I have ever had my hair pressed or kept it pressed I usually don't let it go beyond like a week a week and a half this is three whole weeks so I'm a little nervous about it reverting back to curls because it's probably like curls what we curl did we do that and prior to this press, I have not gotten my hair pressed for a year. It has been a whole year since I got my hair pressed, or just about a year. So basically, I'm a little nervous, and so I was looking for some routines for how to revert your hair back to curly. Usually, I just wash my hair like I usually do. Um, most times, or sometimes, I'll do a deep conditioning treatment, but not always. It just wasn't a consistent like method. So I went to YouTube to find some help and I follow African, I think it's pronounced African Beauty and one of her old videos from like 2017 came up and but I've seen her do this more than once. I know she has two videos on this, one that she did recently on reverting your hair back to curls after it's been straight and she tried something a little different so I'm going to try it today on camera and we're just going to see how it turns out. So African Beauty, I hope that these results are the same. She has like four C hair, I believe. I think I've seen her say like four C hair all over her channel. I claim to have like three C, maybe four A uh, style hair. I feel like it's smack dab in the middle. I'm smack dab in between three C and four A. So who even knows if this method is meant for me or will work for me, but we're gonna try it. So without further ado, if you wanna stick around and see if I have heat damage or what happened after I try to revert this hair back to curly, keep watching. So the first step is to take this hair down. So I go ahead and take out my ponytail and bun. And wow, you guys, I mean, three weeks, it was so obvious. My ends were kind of, I mean, I had freshly gotten them cut when I got it straightened, but they were just kind of frayed because they were starting to revert back to my curls um, just from humidity and all the randomness that I had been doing. So yeah, I was kind of finger detangling first before I went in with the wide tooth comb like she did. And I had quite a few more tangles than she did in this video, so I really took time with this and made sure to get all of those tangles out. I didn't have to go really hard, honestly, even though it sped up, I was going really gentle and they came right out. It just took a little extra patience. From there, she separates her whole head into two large sections, pins one up, um, pins most of the other one up, but leaves down a little small piece to work with. I went ahead and ran my comb through it and then you just hit it with water and you spray as much as you feel you need. I didn't do it a lot this first time and I switched that up on the rest of my head just because I mean in order to see some curls revert you really want some water. And you're just going to keep raking your fingers through at this point to try to get those curls to warm back up. Then she goes in with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Treatment Mask from Shea Moisture. And it's honestly kind of like a clay texture. Um, it was really thick, so I didn't know what this was going to do with my head. This is the first time I had ever used it. And she, again, just goes through and rakes it through the hair just to see the curls revert. But guys, look at my hair. <laughs> um, I was freaking out. I knew the product was heavy, but I'm like, is this the product? or? Do I have heat damage? What's happening right now? Like my curls were taking forever to come back. I was sweating bullets. So at this point, I'm raking my fingers through, I'm scrunching the curls, I'm doing whatever I can because I'm afraid I have heat damage. But after several minutes, <laughs> my curls were looking like they were coming back. So no heat damage, thank the Lord. 
And then I just continued that same pattern all the way throughout the rest of my hair. So taking another section, adding the water, breaking through with just the water in. Remember I added some more water than I did the last time. Then going in with that product and really scrunching it. I mean, honestly, if you have 3C, 4A hair like me and it's really soft and thin, you're going to want to scrunch and do several methods to get those curls to come back. Um, even still, it'll just take a minute for them to come. But you see mine are, mine are popping back. So the more I did this, the more I realized you just really have to be patient, especially, I mean, even more patient than she was in the video, because she kind of mentions this, but honestly, my hair is so much thinner than hers. She has very thick hair, a little bit more coarse than mine, mine is just soft, so, I mean, you see it, there's some straight pieces in my hair, um, and I really, I had to work for these curls to come back by this method. Um, I had some edge control in, some pretty hefty edge control, so um, I didn't really tackle that as hard as I could, but I knew I was washing this out, so I didn't really worry about it. But yeah, you guys see these pieces? I'm like, Lord Jesus, is it heat damage or do I just need the water pressure? I, I didn't know, but I was happy to see that a majority of my curls came She goes in with jojoba oil, but I'm using Argan Oil of Morocco by Organics. I've used this several times on my channel. And just raking it through my hair like she is, making sure it's all over, and then giving myself a scalp massage. Bonus! So these are my curls after I've done everything. I'm just kind of going through and trying to get as many of them to come alive as possible. But for the most part, I mean, I'm really pleased. The curls are bouncing and behaving and I was excited to see that they had come back. So I'm just playing at this point. <laughs> So the last step she does for us in the video is just putting it up in a little bit of a ponytail. Not really neat at all, doing one big fat twist, spinning it around, tightening it, and uh, putting a plastic cap on. And I let that sit for a while, washed it out, and this is the final result after washing it out. I was very happy to see my curls come back and just be bouncy and shiny and all that good stuff. Honestly, after my presses, my hair is usually the most curly and bouncy, and so this is actually not even as curly as it usually is. I really think I need that water pressure just because my hair texture is so soft. So that is the only thing I would change if I were to do this again. Other than that, African Beauty's uh, straight to curly routine is 3C4A hair approved. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!